Hey everyone, FM Jenny Man here and welcome back to another Foot Manager experiment. Today we're going to look at Wayne Rooney as he returns to Goodison Park. Hey everyone, once again, welcome back to a Foot Manager 2017 experiment. Today we'll look at Wayne Rooney and his move back to Everton. Now, obviously, the deal has not been completed yet, so we don't know how much it costs and uh, what kind of wages will be on, what kind of contract length, a lot of things like that. So, there are a lot of areas that we don't quite know yet, but what we can do is to simulate the experience of Wayne Rooney returning home and seeing how well he can uh, compete with Everton, see if he gets many games in the England squad, um, you know, just to see if, you know, he can really help them push him to the next level. Obviously, moving down from the, the top tier of uh, Manchester United to a second tier Premier League team like Everton. Um, we're just being to see if he can help elevate them, maybe get them into that top tier in the future seasons. But anyway, let's take a look, let's take a look at the player. Now I am using a updated database, uh, which basically puts uh, move the clubs around, a few attribute changes here and there, but nothing major. So uh, another interesting development is actually going to be taking a look at see if his attributes decline very, very sharply, or maybe he just maintains it for a few more seasons. But um, as you can see, very well rounded. We know about Wayne, not much we need to talk about. If you're a fan of England, you know Wayne Rooney and his capability. Um, he's natural in two positions as an attacking midfielder and a striker. Let's see how that fits into Everton's system. And obviously, Kuman is still in charge of them. And to make the uh, simulation seem a little bit more credible, I actually moved Lukaku from Everton to Manchester United uh, just to make sure it cleared up enough room for Wayne to get plenty of playing time. Because if you kept Lukaku on the Everton team and added him, Rooney wouldn't have got many starts. He would have been behind Lukaku and we wouldn't see much of an impact. So I've made it as realistic as possible by moving on Lukaku to Manchester United, which is um, supposed to happen in the upcoming days. And then obviously, Rooney pretty much has the striking job to himself at this moment in time. Uh, Niasi looks to be his main competitor behind him. And uh, there's also some other little options here and there from Sandro Ramirez and Adamella Luckman by luck of things. But anyway, I'm going to do this uh, um, experiment in three seasons. Uh, the first season, um, obviously, we can take a look, see how well he does. And then the second season, third season, just depending on if he moves on or you know, things like that. So anyway, um, let's go ahead and skip towards the end of the 2017-2018 season and let's see how Wayne did. Okay, so here we are at the end of the 2017-2018 simulated season. So let's take a look at his season stats. Uh, didn't score a single goal in the Europa League, average rating of 6.74. Got himself 7 goals, 6 assists with an average rating of 6.78 off 30 starts and 5 off the bench. And uh, he didn't score a goal off one subs appearance in the EFL Cup. So overall, he had a pretty... I'd say solid season. It wasn't spectacular by any means. Um, let's take a look. It looks like he didn't really play for England either. Um, he may not even be in the uh, national squad. Can't say that for certain, but I don't think he made an England appearance this year. So disappointed for him, obviously. Um, attributes haven't noticed too many changes. However, I will do a comparison at the end of this experiment. So you guys can see it kind of like screenshot for screenshot. Um, all right, so um, pretty solid, not great. Everton themselves had a really poor season. They actually finished in 16th, only six points clear of Watford, who were relegated. So that itself was a very disappointing season. Koeman is still in charge, which is also kind of surprising. I honestly thought they would have fired him uh, after finishing 16th. But anyway, uh, we'll do one more season. Um, so we'll uh, join us back at the end of the 2018 to 2019 season. Okay, everyone, welcome back. We're at the end of the 18-19 season now for Wayne Rooney. Now, let's take a look at his season statistics. And he only started seven games in the Premier League, scoring only two goals, 13 off the bench, and an average rating of 6.76. Now, as you can see, his all competitions here, it was a pretty terrible season. I wonder if he was injured. I didn't get any reports as an injury, and uh, he was not injured at all this season, so he was fully available from start to finish. Um, let's take a look at his attributes. Now, I have noticed his physical attributes have declined quite heavily, especially in the pace department. He's now only an 8. He never was the quickest player in the world, but 8 now for a Premier League player isn't very good. Um, mentally, he looks about the same. Technically, I think he's got a little bit weaker in some areas, but primarily his physical uh, capabilities are on the most decline. And uh, by the look of things, too, he's actually been relegated to the reserve squad, the, the Everton under-23s. 
Now, obviously, um, that's not ideal. Didn't expect that to happen. I expected him to be um, at least in the first team kind of reserve, maybe on the bench. Um, but I did not expect for him to be relegated to the reserve team. Uh, let's see who's in front of him. Uh, looks like Troy Deeney. Troy Deeney signed for them for £37.5 million. Pounds, a lot of money. But he did score 19 goals in 37 appearances for Everton this season. So that was a nice return. Uh, Ramirez was the other striker. And he's also done pretty well. 12 goals in 36 appearances. Um, so overall, Everton also bounced back, it looks like, uh, with a 10th place finish. Is Koeman still in charge? Uh, nope, Mancini is now in charge. Obviously, Koeman got the X. Not surprising, considering how poor they were last season. So... It's kind of crazy. I didn't expect Wayne Rooney to be relegated to the reserves. I really didn't. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to do one last season for Wayne. And let's see if maybe he can bounce back. Maybe he finds a new role in the team. But I'm expecting him to be moved on to a different club. But uh, you know what? We'll skip forward one more year and let's see what happens. Okay, and welcome back everyone to the final season in the Wayne Rooney experiment. So if you look at the season stats, he didn't play a single game in the Premier League. Not one single game and only two games, sorry, uh, four games total in uh, obviously Everton's first team. Didn't score a single goal, not a single assist and an average rating of about six and a half. So overall, um, his return to Everton hasn't been very good. Um, obviously, at the end of this experiment, you're going to see that he pretty much racked up 55 appearances with only nine goals. So very disappointing return for Wayne. I'm sure I didn't expect it to be this bad. I expected it to decline a little bit and quickly, but not exactly to the point where he wasn't even going to get a game in the Premier League. Now, I do have to add the last three months, uh, he's been out with a knee tendonitis. Um, so I do have to add that. Um, but nevertheless, he wouldn't have played that much anyway. So um, that's going to conclude this part of the experiment. Let's take a look at his attribute decline. All right, so here's how Wayne Rooney looked on the opening day of this experiment. Uh, as you can see, very well-rounded, haven't got to go too much into detail. Now, after the first season, you will notice a slight decrease in his physical capability, mainly acceleration, um, and well, acceleration actually the same, never like, uh, pace went down, and agility went down by two attribute marks. So that's um, obviously his start of his decline. And then from the first season to the second season that's when you notice the most difference um his mental attributes went up nothing actually um a technical wouldn't go up at all however his uh, physical capabilities completely fell off a cliff uh pace went down to eight acceleration down to 10 agility went to seven strength went down to 11 and then in his last season you'll see the difference here mental and technical abilities a few attributes went up just a little bit um but his physical completely again once again fell off a cliff his pace is only five now five I'm faster than five and acceleration six agility five and strength which used to be a very important part of his game went to nine so obviously he is 33 years old so that's a, a possible reason and why that happened however I didn't expect it to fall off that badly so overall this experiment has shown us uh, that uh, according to football manager Wayne will kind of fall off a cliff a little bit when it comes to physical capability but his technical and mental will stay about the same I, I mean that's a pretty fair reflection I feel and how he was going to do at Everton in real life I think he's going to do pretty good actually I'm going to I think he'll surprise a lot of people I think he'll have kind of a bounce back year obviously it's going to be difficult for him to be the focal point for the Everton attack considering Lukaku's probably left the club so it'll be interesting to see in how Everton adjusts their game to include Rooney over Lukaku the two different strikers but it's going to be a bit of a challenge for him I hope he does well uh, personally I do like Wayne um, I'm not obviously disappointed he didn't reach his what I feel would be full potential um, but it's good to see him still in the Premier League. Naturally, um, I did expect him to move to China or the MLS just to gain that last big payday. Uh, but uh, we'll see what happens, really. I mean, according to football manager, he's not going to do that well for them. What do you guys think? Do you think Wayne is going to have a good um, second half of his career at Everton? Or do you think it's going to mimic what we found out in the football this, uh, this experiment? Uh, but what do you guys think? Put in the comments below. I'll be interested to read it. And uh, thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit like. And if you didn't, well, uh, you can hit this like if you want, but it doesn't really matter. Um, but anyway, if you want to see more videos by me, hit subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, everyone. Goodbye.